Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, how y'all doing, how you doing? Hey, just wanted to jump in and share some stuff with you guys. So, um, I pops into YouTube land, right? Pops into YouTube high. Checking out, the running and, 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 and dodging people on, in the hallways and I come across a very interesting video. Now, I actually came across a few things and I know y'all probably already know because y'all I don't know how many of y'all are really on the Nature Boy tip, right? So, we seen his epiphany that he had that really wasn't an epiphany. It was some information and, and some observation given to him by a lady who called in who happened to be very smart and on fucking point. We all seen it. And um, we also seen Velvet come clean about shit we also already knew. And that was great, right? So we're going to break all that down later. But this, this kind of is more important. So Sergio, I don't know if it's Sergio, Sergio, I forget. But um, he does a lot of uh, political videos with, you know, about the community, shit like that. The injustices, all that, right? So I come across a man named Tyrone Muhammad. God bless this man, right? So this is a beautiful black man who I made at has already spent 21 years in prison, right? So he's, he's free now and... What this man is doing is standing up for us sisters, right? Because we had another incident at, at a nail shop. This is a nail shop. This time, people of Asian descent seem to own all the nail shops and the hair shops, right? And then you go to our corner stores, and they're usually owned by, if it's not an Asian, now it's about every time you go, it's a Muhammad. So it's a Pakistani, Iranian, a Muslim man, that area, you know. These are the people who are in our community. But these people can't stand us literally they can't stand us they don't like us we all are thieves murderers gangbangers ghetto hood rats but they seem to always open shop in our community they don't touch their foot down good on u.s soil and they will find the nearest uh black community and open up some kind of business hair nails corner store right and why is it that now it seems to be all these goddamn corner stores are now selling chicken so you you you, you pull up to the corner store and it ain't nothing but a bunch of four loco signs and new point out new poor advertisements all over the goddamn windows and now add chicken wings to that so they 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 selling us chicken wings fucking malt liquor newports hair and fucking nails right and in all these situations, we seem to be getting fucked up, black women. Remember the black woman who got punched in her face, like decked in her face, like her shit was bloodied all the fuck up by this Asian man in a fucking hair store? Do y'all remember that when that happened? Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You know what? Let's just cut to it, you know, because I can, I can tell y'all women about yourself still supporting these kind of places and then not supporting the men who do stand up for us because so many times... Black sister, we are fucking disrespected and shitted on by everybody, seems like, right? Because let me tell you, ain't no way a black man could go to an Asian community and open up a fucking store. Or a Pakistani or Muslim community and open up a fucking store without the blessing of the community. And there's no way. They're going to make sure whatever building that is, you don't get Unless they say it's okay. And let's just say for kicks, you did get something open. A black man opened up a shop, black company, uh, whatever. They black people running it. And, and an Asian woman or a Pakistani woman is in that motherfucker patronizing that store. And a black man punches her dead in her fucking face. Punches her, bloodies her shit up. This Asian or fucking Muslim woman. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> what do you, please somebody let's be real and let's be goddamn honest with ourselves what do you think would happen in that black motherfucking company that punched a asian or muslim or white woman in their community in the business do you think that man ain't going to jail do you think that goddamn company ain't going down down they're gonna make sure that bitch gets shut the fuck down i can guarantee you and ain't going to happen, though, because they don't even let you come into that community and open up no businesses anyway, right? But they damn sure come all up and through hours and then follow your ass all over the store. But let's get to it. I'm going to just show you it real quick because I'm going to make this real fast. I just want y'all to know y'all need to look out for one another. 
just like when Dylan Roof and it was who Dylan Roof and it was some other people that that police officer. And I'm thinking the one that shot uh, Michael Brown, and it might be a fucking other. One. I think it's a whole bunch of those these cracker ass crackers. And when I say cracker ass crackers, you know what I mean. That means the supremacists, the white fucking supremacists who think they are superior than everybody on this planet, who think they are the gods of this goddamn planet. These are the ones I'm calling cracker ass crackers. So know the difference, okay? So when these motherfuckers do some dirty shit like kill one of us and they have legal fees, do you know what they, they community go do? They open up a GoFundMe and they raise so much goddamn money within a week. I think that damn officer had $300,000 or some shit like that. If I'm not mistaken, Dylan Roof, the one who killed the black people in the black church who was taking the Burger King on his way to jail, if I'm not mistaken, he, it, he raised like... A whole like thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars by people trying to, for his defense. And like for his defense, then we all know he did it. He know he did it, but they raised this as much. So the, what I'm saying in, in the moral to the story is we can't get a couple of thousand up for Tyrone, who is actually doing. Let me show you what he did. Just let me let me quit talking. Let me let me quit pop, popping my gums and show you what the fuck I mean. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to make this real quick. Come on now. Don't don't run now. Don't run. Don't run. Mm -mm. Don't be running. Let's listen to what the fuck happened here. Let's listen to what happened here. That's the hair store, but we're going to go to what Tyrone what, 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 did. Honestly, uh... But several community leaders say the proof is on tape told me to get the H out of his chair. He's not doing my nails. I changed my mind too much. Charmaine Jones says this cell phone video only captured a part of what happened to her Monday afternoon at the Color Nails near 83rd and Stewart. She says she was reaching back, trying to get her sister. As I was walking out of the door, uh, proceeded to push me and shove me and hit me and attempted to bite me. And another worker tried to grab the phone of the woman who was recording. I take a personal responsibility. And Wait a minute, I just caught something. Did y'all notice that they bleeped out the owner's name? Why did they bleep out his name? If that, if had that been the other way around, they definitely would have said the black man's name. If he did something or he's accused of something, how the fuck the news is bleeping out people's names? Am I crazy? I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I swear they bleeped this man's name out. And he damn he's the owner of the shop, so he damn sure ain't underage. So tell me why and the fuck the news is bleeping out his name. Hmm. No, uh, being a fan god for my community. The next day, community activist Tyrone Muhammad responded with this, throwing bricks at the windows. He was immediately arrested and charged with misdemeanor criminal damage to property. Today, he defended his actions, saying he's met with the owner before to address concerns at the salon, but nothing has changed. If you saw the tape, you'll see me going there, warning the sisters, telling them to clear this area. This is, um, we're pretty much uh, at this point we come and in this place and any neighborhood store that disrespect our women and children. Activists have been staging a boycott and protest following a series of incidents in recent months at the nail salon. Jamie Mall Green has shared videos showing the owner putting his hands on female customers. After grabbing the wallet of one customer seen here, the owner was taken into custody, but he tells WGN the case was thrown out. We're not about violence. Green says he had nothing to do with Muhammad's action, but wants to continue to put the focus on how black women are being treated at businesses where they spend their money. We were there to protest and boycott because we understand how to financially castrate a business because we just did it on 103rd and they've been shut down for two weeks. It's not just one situation at one nail shop. This is happening at multiple nail shops. I want justice served mainly, you know, and I want other young black individuals in the whole black community to know that we don't have to accept this type of behavior. Jones did file a police report for the incident this week, and police say the case is open, but there have been no arrests. The shop is boarded up and closed for now. The owner tells us he plans to reopen tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to skip on because I don't want to use all of Sid Joe's video. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Hopefully he won't strike me. For using pieces of this video, but I will be letting him know. Hey, if it's, you don't like it, I would cut. The, I will cut that part out. But I can. So I have another video I can show you of what he did. So, but I want you to hear what Tyrone said afterwards. Right? Get the fuck. Turn back around. Come on. 
Come on, turn around. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to jump back to that one, but I'm going to show you the actual thing, what happened, like what he did. <laughs> I'm using this part of this video too. Please go subscribe to Scorpio Stings. Hopefully they won't also strike me. I don't have my computer. My kids has busted my motherfucker. I can't have shit. They tore up my computer. So I can't edit like I need to. So please, so the those subscribe to Scorpio Stings. Scorpio Stings, I'm just using a little clip. Hey, I ain't got but a hundred and some subscribers. Please leave it alone. Bitch alone. Leave a bitch alone. Let me skid on. He told these helpers to get out, right? Why are they still laying there? Please somebody tell me. Why are they still getting their nails done and they got them eyebrows done and this black men just want them to get on out of there? Please somebody tell me. He said, you hear him? He said, we play too much, we talk too much. Enough of the goddamn talking. So action going to have to be done to show him we're not playing no more. You're not going to keep doing this shit and getting away with it. Now let's hear what he said afterwards. Businesses in our community, we got to serve our community. That's what this is all about. Stand by, I think Sister Gaynor Hall is coming over to an interview. But uh, please, if you all want to support, y'all know I got to um, go find me up. Because I'm sure we're going to need some legal fees after we get through. But that's okay. It's about, that's what it's about. All right, brother. That's what it's about. Having legal fees to take care of our business, man. Is it, this, this is where we at. This is where we at. We over on 83rd. I'll be here for a minute before I go downtown to uh, Butt Neck and Truth with my man, Harry Davis. They don't, they don't appropriate the proper funds, the funds where they need to be appropriated. They, they, we continue to get disrespect everywhere. All these shots. You shutting them down. If you out of order, uh, all the men, male, we don't care who you are. We are not allowing you to operate in our community and disrespect our community. Uh, it's not going to stop just here. Just so thankful that um, God is on the scene with us and, and we need to make a grand statement. And we're going to do this throughout the country. So watch it. ECCSC coming all across the country. We're going to do this and unify and collaborate with all these various organizations uh, for social change, social justice. And we're going to put our sisters in the position all over the city who know how to do nail hair and figure right. out a way to have a conglomerate right. so we can have so uh, uh, our sisters take care of their own needs. Because you can't have your black men going to jail, going Amen. to prison. Uh, uh, over nails, hair, and eyebrows. Amen. And come on, please, people. Please. Well, we can't be going to prison and losing our lives over tell some them, hair. Pastor. Over some nails. Well, over some eyebrows. Woo. Please do not do well, that to us. Well, well. I spent 21 years in prison to come out to serve my community. And sometimes that entails going back to prison or even losing your life. But please, let's make the best decision, especially when you see black men standing up for you, sisters. Don't continue to patronize and support people Amen. who don't support and love you. Right. That's, That's all we're saying. That's Accept your own and be yourself. That's the thing. You know? We got to shut them down and we got to get help to our sister care 
Carol and Ruff over at Misha. We gotta shut them down and get with our sisters so we can open up beauty salon. I mean, beauty, uh, uh, what are they called? Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all go to Sejo, Sejo Hito. I, can't, I don't know why I can't never pronounce that dude's name. But go to his channel, subscribe. You can watch the rest of the video there. Um, I'm gonna try to go ahead and put the link in there. I'm gonna put the link also into the um, the GoFundMe because you should be supporting the people who support you, sisters. This is what I'm saying. If fucking Dylan Roof and the, the murderer of Michael Brown, the police officer who murdered these people, our people, our young black men and sisters, if these these ooh, I want to call them some other stuff, but if these nasty son of a bitches have their community support their wrong, the fucked up ass wrong from killing our people, and they can raise fucking 300, 400, a half a million fucking dollars in weeks for their legal fees, you ain't gonna tell me we can't raise the money to support this man who's already been in prison for 21 years, but has chosen to come out and support us. He has so many times women, black women, you get disrespected and black men will stand around and let these let you have to fight, fight some fucking racist man. You literally have to fight him and they'll stand there and let you get beat the fuck up. But it would never happen the other way around. You think some white supremacists going to let some black man beat up some white woman in front of them and they just stand there? No, they not going to do that. So you ain't gonna tell me you can't go so we can't raise twenty thousand dollars for this man. We're gonna tell him we we can't do that. And I and I ain't just talking about it, I bees the fuck about it. Because I have already motherfucking donated, okay? My little thirty dollars ain't much, but it's something. It's something. It's something. You can give five dollars. You can give ten dollars. What the fuck is mine at? I don't see my there it is. Right there. Here's mine. You see it right here? Patron Gold. That was in 31 minutes ago. $30. You ain't going to tell me we can't support this man. So I'm going to leave the link below. Come on, help this man out. There's no way he should have to bear the cost of this of trying to fucking take up for us. Because we choosing to go in and give these motherfuckers our money who don't give a shit about us. Who will punch us in our fucking face and disrespect us. All the while, you digging in your pocket, giving them your hard-earned fucking money. And you can't help this man? Come on now. Get 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 real. So, I'm going to leave the link below. And I'm going to go ahead and end this motherfucking video. I'm just saying, do the right thing, sisters. Do the right thing for once we got somebody standing up for us.